Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Trisha, but you can just call me Trish. Today I'll be going through everything that's in this bag that I use pretty much every day for work and school. So if you find anything helpful or if you simply enjoy the video, please make sure you like the video and leave a, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we'll get started right now. So this is the bag that I use. It's this medium Telfar bag in the color chocolate, which I got through their bag security program, which is basically pre-ordering it. So I started paying for it in March and then I got it two weeks before school started um, in August, which is perfect because I bought it as a back to school treat for myself. So the bag does have straps that just leak on me. But the bag does have straps, so you should keep that in mind, especially when you're using it for school because it's kind of heavy. So it's going to be a lot on your shoulder. Um, I normally just switch shoulders or you can carry it like this, but that I'm not into that. <laughs> I don't like I exercise enough. I don't need to do the exercise. Okay, so this is how inside of the bag looks. And I did an unboxing if you want to see that, but this is how inside of the bag looks. Here's this pocket here. We'll just start with the things here that we can see. We'll start with this binder, which is what I'm using to track my studying for the LSAT. Um, which, this is in my bag Monday through Friday, except Tuesday, because on Tuesday, my Tuesday class, I have a separate binder. For my other classes, I just use my iPad. And then for my science class, we have a science notebook, which we keep in the classroom. Well, I don't know what she does with it because different teachers use that classroom. So I'm really not sure what she does with them, but that's not my concern. I'll put that on my desk. And next we have this planner that I got from Ross for $7.99 minus um, a, so a discount because I was working there when I bought this. So 20% off, but still $7.99 is not bad. This planner is pink and gold with this thing that closes it. It's a spiral one, like a spiral notebook. And the front it says, for I know the plans I have for you, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. So um, there's other ones without, because this is from the Bible. So maybe you're not religious or you're just not a Christian. But there were other ones without Bible quotes. So yeah, I like this to stay organized. I would definitely recommend this. You don't need all three because I use my phone calendar, this calendar on my board, and this one. You don't need all three. I think whichever one you think will be best for you. I try not to look at my phone one more uh, much because then I'll just wander off onto Twitter and Instagram. So I try to stick with this one when I'm out. And then if I'm in my room, I look at the board because it's where I buy my desk. I'm looking at it right now. So moving on from the planner thing, because I just did a whole ramble, make sure you get some type of physical planner so you're not only relying on your phone because your phone could die, of course. Or maybe it will be mal malfunctioning because that's what technology does. But um, yeah, here's my iPad. It's in this case that I got from Amazon, which I love because I can keep it in here. This has the main, this has a lot of apps, but the main main ones that I use are Bookshelf, which um, eBooks and then Kindle also eBooks. Then Google Docs, Gmail, Outlook, which is for my night's email, my, class, my school email address. Um, Good notes for notes, Grammarly, LinkedIn Learning, web courses, of course, um, Google Slides, Netflix. Yeah, that's mainly the main things that I use on there and Google Drive. Okay, let's move on. Then the next thing is my umbrella because I live, oh, this color looks nice. Wait, no, now I have to. I feel like I blush this color. Anyways, this is my umbrella, which I also got from Ross. It's just a small umbrella, as you can see. One person umbrella. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Anyways, dealing with weather as well, because I'm in Florida, so it rains a lot, and it's also really sunny. So I have this fan, which I think I got from Amazon. I got it like sophomore year, so I don't know if I'll be able to find the link. It has three levels. This is the first one. This is the second one. Then this is the third one. It's really powerful. And you charge it with, um, it has an Android charger. So you just need an Android USB and you're good to go. Then everyone, regardless of where you are, you need sunscreen, even in the winter, I found out. Um, and I use this to reapply. So during the mornings, I use the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. And you know, two fingers. They say you use two fingers and spread it all over your face and your neck. But then I use this to reapply when I'm out and about because then I feel like my hands are dirty and my face breaks out really easily. So I'm not trying to tempt it. So then I use this to reapply. I don't have to touch it. You just roll it on like a 
deodorant like how you do deodorant so that's what we do today and as you can see i use this a lot because all this was there was writing all over this and this is 70 percent spf i have sunglasses because as you can see and as you can see that i don't know how to show it yeah that brown thing in my eye <laughs> i don't know how to show it so yeah i need to do this because um so my my eye doesn't the sun and my eye yeah so sunglasses for me then i have these two bags this has these are both ipsy bags because my mom was the one to subscribe to them but she stopped because it get it got repetitive like things they were sending but then we had a lot of bags there's also i have one that i have jewelry in so i have three total and she has some still so this one i'm pretty sure it has my pencils and stuff in there yeah so this pencil grip that i use for the apple pencil because it's very tough so it's like well depending on how you hold pencils when you write but whichever pencils i use they have they have to have pencil grips on them of some type or else we'll press down on my finger and one time i got a horn on my finger so i need pencil grips and i have this mechanical pencil that's this very fancy mechanical pencil that i got um i always buy my school supplies during tax-free weekend i've had these highlighters for a couple probably years now um because i really only use them to highlight highlight headings when i'm taking notes not really textbooks because i don't buy textbooks i just rent them yeah, so this is all the stuff that's in this and this one is um my high hygiene stuff yeah it is so i have floss because the braces once again and i have wax also for the braces so it doesn't cut my gum um and i have listerine strips but i don't use them that often because i also have listerine spray because i'm just worried about my hands being dirty and me touching my mouth on my face so that's why this spray um i have benadryl which is an allergy medication because i'm always eating stuff i'm not supposed to and then, but really i feel like it's cheese because then when i eat a lot of cheese i break out so mainly my back that's really weird um i have emergency yeah emergency c uh, i have a band-aid and i have a pad in case of emergencies. Uh, everyone should have like these things in it. And then everyone should have these things. <laughs> um, and everyone should also have a backup mask. I think I have two in here. Yeah, I have two in case the one I'm wearing drops on the floor. I'm gonna put a dirty mask on my face. And I have these in there. Then I have a pair of unworn underwear, which I'm not gonna show on camera. So as you can see, I stopped to drink some water. I don't know what's going on with my throat or my voice, but um. As you can see, the big part is, big section is empty. So we're gonna go in this zipper section, which has the Telfar logo and then a zipper, which has, it's actually pretty big. And then in this small section, I have this spray bottle. This is alcohol, like just rubbing alcohol um, that I use as sanitizer. And I have this actual hand sanitizer and I got on canvas, but I don't use it often because it honestly smells really bad. I don't know what's in it. And it says unscented hand sanitizer. Maybe that's why. Maybe you guys need to put some scent in it. Kind of. I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> then this lotion. Um, yeah, this lotion smells really good. Uh, I don't know what it's. I just got the bottle from Walgreens. I didn't put lotion in it. Same thing. These are already fine in like the travel slide. Travel size aisle next i have this mini lysol spray that um i think my mom bought this from walmart so this mini lysol spray that i normally just spray down like seeds and stuff it's still in the panini so you gotta be careful i really don't like being sick so i try my best to avoid it then i have these two lip balms this one is milani fruit fresh Mango coconut smells really good and they have other scents, flavors, I would say scents as well. Cause it's not something you eat, so it's not really a flavor. And then this Fenty Beauty Pro Lip Kisser, which I also don't really like how much, how this smells, but I do like the applicator. And this mini, this is a mini, a travel. I got this from when I bought my Valentino perfume. It's just Valentino in this, but like the touch up, which I really haven't used it much cause it stays on me pretty well. I, when you use like oil to moisturize your body, then put 
put on color and our perfume, it's gonna stay on me more. I've realized that, so that's what I do now. I mean, use less. Then, my earpods, earpods case, which when I, once I get home, I put it on my desk. So I don't know why it's still in here. And also my keys are on my desk. Cause then next I have this, oh, last thing, yay. Oh yeah, and then I'll have like water and snacks in there, but I'm already back for the day, so. Yeah, so then I have this little wallet, this coach wallet. I don't know the name for it, but this is it. And they're different colors, Scar. Oops, my voice. They're different colors because my mom has a different color and my sister does too. So it's this one. You could put it on your keychain, but to me, that's risky. Because if somebody rob you, now you lost your keys and your money. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I have my student ID here in the front and my driver's license is behind it. I keep my student ID in the front because I need it to, um, get on the shuttle so I just keep it there and show it easily so that is the end of the video those are all the things that I have in this bag I hope you found some of the things useful if there's anything I don't have in this bag that you think I would find useful you can comment it down below of course and if you're new to my channel please make sure you check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next video hopefully bye